over 750 delegates from all worlds of academia, research and so many more are gathered here in Dubai to discuss challenges facing global education. Top on agenda is how governments can use public-private partnerships to improve education and also the use of technology to make sure that education is improved. Statistics from the United Nations show that over 100 million children across the world are out of school. The study further indicates that 200 million children lack learning material and are being taught by untrained teachers. <laughs> this year's Global Education and Skills Forum is graced by former world-class leaders and education experts to brainstorm on improving the state of affairs. Ugandan officials are also at the forum to share experiences and learn lessons from other nations with better education systems. In Uganda, you have the second largest average family size in the world. The average Ugandan family has seven children. There is a crying problem there with the government just to have enough money to provide schools and any teachers in the school. In poor countries, often the most important thing is simply to build a system that can accommodate all the children who need to be educated. Former U.S. President Bill Clinton is calling for the promotion of quality education in order to transform nations as a whole. Technology does have a role to play in universalizing quality education, but we haven't worked out exactly how to do it yet. The One Laptop for Child initiative is exciting, but there are too many children who don't have a laptop. Clinton, who is also the honorary chairman of Vaki James Foundation, an organization that advances education for all, says a lot more needs to be done to transform education around the world. He also says countries should intensify public-private partnerships in the education sector to bring about change. No one and no single government can do it all even though no international institution can. Given the financial constraints on donors everywhere, there is a great deal of education and training today being done by businesses and NGOs along with educational institutions. We don't normally think of it that way, but I think we should. The other prominent figure at this forum is the former UK Prime Minister, Tony Blair, who is calling on governments to elevate education in their development agendas. Technology is absolutely transformative of education and should carry on being so. Two, the way we teach has got to change radically in the way we regard the profession of teaching. Three, that you have to engage parents and the outside community, including the business community. Over 30 education ministers from around the world are attending this conference in Dubai. Uganda State Minister for Higher Education, John Chrysostom Moyingo, is also at the event. We asked him whether Uganda will be using technology to enhance the education sector anytime soon. We need to have them, tra to train them, to teach them using the modern technology gadgets like computers, iPads. And of course, government alone cannot, cannot provide this. This is why it is very important that we go into a public-private partnership. Delegates were moved by the testimony of a young Congolese refugee living in Uganda about the challenges he faced in accessing education at a settlement camp. When I go back, I'll influence all my colleagues in cabinet to, 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 to make sure that there is a program, a special program that government comes up with to support education of all the children in the camps. This conference seeks to equip delegates with ideas and solutions to challenges affecting their education systems back home. Gatur to Musime with Pari, NTV, Dubai.